Hey everybody, I'm Jason McGrath, and we're going to talk about loan notes and lost loan notes and missing original loan notes in the context of foreclosures, specifically in North Carolina. Uh, while I also practice in Florida and Tennessee and federal court, we're going to focus on North Carolina. There's a school of thought out there, largely based on internet chatter, that the lack of an original loan note or perhaps the lack of even a certified copy or a, an accurate copy of the loan note will prevent a foreclosure from taking place. And I've encountered you know, both um, creditors or, or loan note holders, the parties that eventually may want or need to foreclose, uh, and also borrowers or homeowners who both have this belief. And certainly the, the different states have different laws and different rules with regard to that issue and many other issues. And by the way, the foreclosure process in North Carolina is actually unique uh, in the United States. And uh, the foreclo foreclosure processes typically involve either pretty much a full lawsuit or no legal uh, court intervention at all. Uh, and North Carolina is actually somewhat in the middle there. But anyway, so we're, we're unique in a lot of ways here in North Carolina, uh, including that. But with regard to loan notes, um, it, it's actually not true that you absolutely have to have the original loan note or even a loan note copy at all to foreclose. That is a misperception or a misinterpretation of North Carolina law, uh, you know, often put out there unintentionally, you know, it's an unintentional mistake typically put out there by either non-lawyers or lawyers from other states who are just trying to do a bunch of marketing and, you know, seem like they can help people in every single state when they really can't because they don't properly understand the law. So regardless of which side you're on, the fact of the matter is that if you don't have the original loan note, it makes it more challenging to be able to foreclose, more challenging to be able to prove that you are the legitimate note holder with the right to foreclose. And this, of course, assumes that there's a proper and valid deed of trust and, and other items set up, uh, we're, but concentrating on the loan note right now. Now, if you're on the borrower or homeowner side, and you, you believe the other side doesn't have a loan note, well, that probably gives you a fighting chance in some ways. But the reality of it is that North Carolina law, uh, both general statutes and also the legal opinions from the higher courts, have made abundantly clear that if there is other good and reliable evidence, sometimes just including affidavits, uh, then a foreclosure can take place. Now, it makes it harder, but there's even something called a lost note affidavit where an affidavit can be filled out by the alleged note holder of the foreclosing party that basically says, well, you know, we don't have it, and here's why we don't have it, here's what happened, and, you know, but please let us foreclose anyhow. So ultimately, um, or not ultimately, but on the, the front line, it's usually the clerk of court who's making that decision, the legal decision to allow foreclosure or not. Then, of course, you can appeal to a judge, and sometimes you'll have a, a regular judicial foreclosure where it's uh, in front of a judge the entire time. But at the end of the day, an affidavit can be filed that may allow a note holder, a foreclosing party, to get around not having the original note or even a copy of the note that would apply. So uh, don't get caught in that trap of thinking that if there's not an original loan note, just foreclosure can never occur and that's it and that's that. That is simply incorrect as far as at least in North Carolina. If you have further questions or want to talk to us about helping you with your foreclosure matter or something else that's within our area of practice, please go ahead and let us know, and we look forward to that uh, possibility. In the meantime, and uh, whether we ever talk to you or not, good luck with your situation. Thanks.